Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and today I'm making a little video on a Craftsman 5x22 snowblower. This one, the symptoms are it's leaking gas out the carburetor. So you can see all the fuel running down there on the paint. Um, what I'm going to go through here is uh, basically open it up and uh, rebuild the carburetor. So this type of job anybody can do. First thing I'm going to do is remove the uh, carburetor cover. So there's a couple Phillips head screws here. There's also a 5 16 bolt up top. Pull that out. You don't have to pull that one all the way out. Then this little red choke lever will slide off. You can pull that off and that should allow you access to your carb. So what I'm going to do is completely pull the carb off and clean this thing. So the first thing I like to do is mark where the linkages are. So the governor linkage, you can see I put a, uh, a scratch right up there. It's in that bottom hole. And then where it meets up with the throttle plate, I've indicated a scratch next to that hole. So now I'm just going to pull off the entire intake manifold and carburetor. So up here is two Phillips head screws. I'm just going to pop these off and this will release the uh, intake manifold for the carburetor. There we go, the carburetor is now loose. I'm going to pull the fuel line and get the carburetor off the machine. So there's a little clip that holds on your fuel line. So I'm just going to slide that back out of the way and we're going to use a screwdriver and pop that fuel line off. Sometimes the fuel lines really stick so if you just take a pliers and try and twist it a little bit that can go a long way. So I was able to release the fuel line with a little bit of pressure and up here's my linkage. Usually what I like to do is uh, try and work the linkage right off the throttle. There we go. And you just want to be careful. Um, you don't want to get it flipped over, so I'm going to put it right back up exactly where it was. And I'll let that hang right there on the governor arm. And back here is our primer hose. We need to pull that off the carburetor. And then the carburetor should be free. So now that I have the carb up on the bench, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, I'm going to start just by pulling off the uh, intake manifold. So we'll pop those bolts off. Got to be careful, there's a gasket on here. There we go, we don't want to wreck the gasket. gasket sticking a little bit so we got the gasket off the gasket looks a little rough so I'm just gonna make a new one so we'll clean that up and make a new one for it um, unless I have one in stock but I don't think I do we're gonna pull off our main jet bowl nut it's on there pretty tight and I have uh, a couple videos on how to clean these, so if you want to check them out, that'll show you how to clean these. I'm going to pull off the bowl, and you can see it's pretty dirty. Um, float looks good. This gasket I'm going to replace because I think that's what's leaking, and it's called the bowl gasket. If you, if you feel it, it's kind of stiff. So I'm going to go through and clean this thing up. So I'm going to pull the pin in the back and we'll pull off our float. You always want to check your float for any water inside. You don't want to lose the needle. There's the needle and seat looks good. Everything looks pretty good in there. We're just going to give it a good cleaning. 
on the side of the carburetor body this is your low your your idle or low adjustment so you adjust this with the uh, throttle all the way down and you get it uh, idling properly I'm gonna pull this out and clean that up um, there's also a hole in these carburetors if you look really carefully you'll see a number stamped here and right above it is an air hole I think that's called an atmospheric hole um, you need to clean that so I will clean that with a wire and some carb cleaner so I'm just going to take a little carb cleaner and real quickly just clean everything out so this is the bowl I usually use a real fine wire brush like this with a little bit of carb cleaner for about 20-30 seconds real lightly clean it out and now we'll just get it with a rag this is the low adjustment needle just going to hit it with carb cleaner and rub it on the rag just so it's nice and clean this is the float lightly spray it just rub it off that's all it takes the carburetor itself I'm just going to spray out all the holes with a uh, little carb cleaner and then I usually like to just follow up with compressed air and blow it out a little bit so we're just trying to hit everything I'm going to replace that gasket so I'll show you how to make a gasket in a minute this is the primer line spray that out your welch plugs are up under here you want to make sure you get that needle or the seat there you want to be careful this is your fuel inlet you want to spray that out good make sure it's coming out there all right everything looks good all right clamped up in the vise i have the intake manifold i clean that off with the wire brush taking a gasket and we're just gonna carefully lightly vice grip that on there just to help hold it in place a little bit while we make the gasket taking a ball peen hammer and I'm just going around the profile of the gasket and you can see how the gasket's just starting to cut away I'm going to mark right where that screw hole goes we can mark our center hole side looks pretty good try and get what I can get here with the uh, vice grip all right that looks pretty good I'm gonna get a bigger vice grip and put it on the other side so we have one side pretty much done I'm gonna carefully unclip the other side and take our hammer just finish it up you can see how the paper is starting to pull away so there we go we can unclamp this side and we have our gasket and usually what I'll do as you can see these holes I'm gonna punch those out alrighty I did a little bit more tapping and kinda of knocked this one loose I wasn't sure if my hammer would fit in there but I did get it to pop out and for the smaller ones um, I'm just gonna punch them using a, a gasket punch so line it up give it a good tap I always try and stay a little bit inside the edge on these because it always wants to split on you so I think this one will pop out I'm actually going to use a knife and cut that out a little bit so I just have a little exacto knife just trying to cut through the last of the material 
So all in all, here it is. We have it all lined up and things are looking good there. Alright, so I got a new bowl gasket, which is really nice and soft compared to the old one. So that'll go on there. And we're going to put our needle. There's a little clip here. You want to get that right on there like that. And we're going to take this and line that up like that. And set our float and needle right where it needs to be. And we'll put in our hinge pin. Which should slip right through like that. Alright, in here where our idle adjustment screw is, we're going to pull out that o-ring and put in a new one. Okay, so on the idle adjustment screw, there's a little spring, then you have a brass washer, then you put on your new O-ring, and then you screw it into the car body. So, last thing I'm going to do is take apart our main jet. So, the adjustment screw comes with the spring, there's a brass washer, and an O-ring. I'm going to replace that o-ring and I'm going to blow this thing out and I'm going to put a wire through the couple holes that are on it and clean it good. So I can see one of these holes, this little hole up top here on this main jet is clogged up. Now I didn't try and run the snow blower yet but I could not see any light through there. So I'm just hitting that with a wire and the bottom hole, I'm just going to go through, wiggle a wire a little bit, and then I'm going to go right through the center. I'm going to put a, a new O-ring on here. I'm going to clean the tip of this needle. And we're ready to reassemble. Alright. So I think I have everything pretty much buttoned up with this carburetor. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on the linkage. So it's a good thing I marked these holes. There we go. Now I'm going to press the fuel line in. And we'll put on our clamp so we don't forget. I'm going to put on the primer line. It's just a little nipple on the side for the primer. Should be good. Find our mounting screws. Line them up. and get that attached. So we're going to try the old cold start, see if I know what I'm talking about. Dad. What? Dad, you know I saw blue rice coat over down the street. You did? Yeah. 